Hey guys, here we are again with another story from the My First Treasury of Bedtime Stories. Today's going to be Princesses Don't Wear Glasses. Ring, ring. As soon as she heard the alarm clock, Sophie Squirrel jumped out of bed. The day of the royal visit was finally here and she couldn't wait to see Princess Hazel in her gleaming coach. Sophie and her friends had planned to wear their best princess dresses and meet by the old oak tree to wave at the procession. Sophie put on her prettiest dress and tiara and hunted around for her necklace. Oh, Sophie. Sorry. Oh, Sophie, you look beautiful, cried Mom as Sophie came into the kitchen. But why aren't you wearing your new glasses? I can't wear them today. Princesses don't wear glasses, said Sophie. I'm sorry, Sophie, but you have to wear them, said Mom. Besides, I thought you liked them. Sophie had liked them a lot when she, first, when she chose them at the glasses shop last week, but today she was going to see a princess. Sophie sighed and went back to her bedroom to put them on. Amelia Mouse and Betsy Bunny were waiting by the, o by the oak tree, covered with glittering necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. Hi, Sophie, called Amelia. Hi. Oh, wow. Sorry. <clears throat> wow, you look just like a real princess in that dress. If princesses wore glasses. Just then, a trumpet went toot toot. <laughs> She's coming, squealed Sophie. Sorry. She's coming, squealed Sophie, peering down the road. First came the royal guards, marching down the road in perfect time. Close behind, they heard the royal band noisily beating their drums. Finally, Princess Hazel rode past, waving royally from her golden carriage. Sophie, look! She's, she's wearing glasses just like yours, cried Betsy. Sophie couldn't believe her eyes. You look exactly like a real princess now, said Mom. I want glasses too, cried Amelia. Can I try them on? asked Betsy. Sophie felt so proud. Princesses do wear glasses, she thought. That night, Sophie fell asleep, still wearing her glasses, and she dreamed very royal dreams. Oh, I think I'll read a second story. I'm getting a bonus this time. Baby Toby. Tilly the tiger had a baby brother who was very, very small. He was too small to walk or talk. But there was one thing he could do extremely well. Toby cried loudly. So loudly that everyone in the house could hear him. One night, Tilly had just drifted off to sleep in her comfy bed when she heard a noise. It was Toby, of course. Tilly stumbled sleepily out of bed to see what was going on. Mummy was trying to get Toby a bottle of milk, but he kept pushing it away. Oh dear, she said when she saw Tilly. Did we wake you? I think Toby's growing a new tooth. That always makes babies grumpy. <coughs> Tilly went back to bed and pulled the cozy covers up around her ears. She had just fallen back to sleep when she heard the noise again. With a sigh, she got up and peeped sleepily into Toby's room. She saw Daddy rocking the baby in his arms and singing him a gentle lullaby, but Toby was still wailing. He doesn't want milk. He doesn't want a cuddle," said Toby. Still, art said till. Blah, blah 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 blah. I'm sorry. I had the wrong person. He doesn't want milk. He doesn't want a cuddle," said Tilly, frowning. "What does he want?" "I don't know," said Daddy. "But you were just like this when you had a new tooth growing." "Was I?" asked Tilly, surprised. She didn't remember being a baby, but she did know. What made her feel better whenever she was upset? Tilly raced to her room, 
and grabbed Pink Monkey from her pillow. Pink Monkey was a bit tatty from so many years of cuddling, but as soon as Toby saw his smiley face and cuddly fur, he stopped sobbing. Toby laid, Toby laid down, sucking Pink Monkey's ear, and within seconds, he was sound asleep. Well done, Tilly, whispered Daddy proudly, kissing her on the nose. That night, everyone got a good night's sleep. It was all thanks to Tilly. That was a couple of good stories, guys. Hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. See you next time with another one. Bye.